Before we start this video, we opened a new store on Teespring with all of our previous t-shirt campaigns. So if you missed this shirt or this shirt or that shirt, you can go check them out now. We'll be doing this for all of our future campaigns a little bit after the end. We'll be posting it on our store. So if you miss them, you can go pick them up. The shirt's art was done by Michael Fortman, aka Sir Fluffy Fox, and Kitsune Zakuro. So go show them some love down below and help us out because YouTube is an unpredictable platform and we might run out of money one day. <laughs> okay, enjoy the video. What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and today I am joined of course by Haley and we are going to discuss something that a lot of people have been talking about recently. We're going to give our little two cents on the subject and that is of course what happened to Pink Diamond or Pink Diamond White Diamond. We know what happened to Pink Diamond. She's super dead. Oh, uh, <laughs> what happened to White Diamond? Where is she? Why was she not the trial? What's her deal? Where where's she at? She's got to be somewhere. Is she on Homeworld? What's going on? So um, Haley, I know you had uh, some specific thoughts about this topic, so why don't you take the floor? Okay, so I know a common idea of about like White Diamond is that she's still around pretty much, and she's just you know she's very high up. So maybe it wouldn't have been like the biggest thing that even though this is one of the four diamonds we're talking about being shattered, maybe mm -hmm. she didn't see it like as a, the most important thing to be there at the trial specifically. Maybe other she was doing other things, but. You know, there there could be other things that may, I don't think people have been talking about too much um, compared comparatively. But I want to bring up the fact that it's possible that maybe she had she left her the other diamonds <laughs> after this because it was obviously a traumatic experience for all of them. So in that same way, perhaps she reacted differently than Blue Diamond, who got really sad and wanted to keep the memory of Pink Diamond alive, or Yellow Diamond, who got you know very angry and you know wanted to get rid of everything that was related to pink diamond and stuffed it inside mm -hmm, exactly so a different thing like kind of kind of a different way than the other two that this one could go is that she just straight up left so it's too much <laughs> i'm out guys see ya i know right yeah. um and that'd be interesting because you know i'm expecting white diamond to have a very different reaction to them because if because like i feel like my first thought would be like it'd be kind of angry like because she's like the highest potentially the most the highest diamond up mm -hmm. there um that shoot me kind of like yellow diamond in how she acts and stuff but we don't know that yet so i'm thinking oh a different direction would be very interesting as well yeah i think it would be probably too easy to do it just like yellow diamond so um yeah i think you're right i think they would do it something differently because blue diamond has it where she's just really sad and just being overly emotional and not moving on and then we have yellow diamond who's being angry and like like i said stuffing her emotions inside and trying to pretend they're not there and then we could have white diamond who if she just runs away um you know that's her just running away from her problems and just kind of like being like you know maybe she feels somehow responsible um i don't know why she would per se mm -hmm. but um it, it would yeah. unless like of course she was literally responsible for pink diamond's death she actually killed her for whatever motives she had and maybe she couldn't live with the guilt of dealing with that um, assuming like yellow diamond and blue, blue diamond don't know, she may have just left uh, and like you know, just just couldn't live with it anymore. She couldn't do the diamond stuff anymore because of what she did. Um, but I feel like if she was going to bring herself to do that in the first place, she wouldn't feel that guilty right after. Like that's a really huge yeah. flip. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, yeah. Unless like you know, going back to what you said before her at the tr not showing up to the trial you know the war is over there's really no productive reason to have rose courts other than just justice just because so maybe white diamond is super even more cruel than yellow diamond doesn't even want to deal with it kind of like how yellow diamond didn't want to deal with it but to the extent of <laughs> she like didn't even feel like she needed to be there um yeah so yeah yeah and um one other thing with that like you might question why she's still in the logo she left her two sisters there out to grieve for her you know <laughs> pink diamond shattering well it's possible that maybe they hope she'll come back or she's like okay just whatever and they, they still believe that because like we know that white diamond in the mural has the most planets and looks like she might be holding homeworld homeworld and we saw her the little i don't know what we haven't nobody's certain about what that is the, the mm -hmm. big statue i don't think it's a statue they right. said it wasn't i think I, I might be wrong but i believe rebecca sugar may have confirmed that that was like the homeworld equivalent of equivalent of the temple sort of hmm. so that could be like some sort of housing ground for elite gems or maybe all the diamonds potentially that'd be pretty interesting Ooh. 
Okay, well, her temple, yeah, maybe, um, you know, they all still have that <laughs> because they hope she'll come back. Yeah, and um, you brought up that uh, she could be sort of like a uh, supernatural yeah. god. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to get into that. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, one other thing that... Um, that I thought was a possibility that I don't, I don't think anybody's really discussed is that I don't know if you you might probably haven't seen the show Supernatural, Michael. I have not. Okay, and I'm assuming a lot of you guys haven't as well. Um, it's I feel a, like they it's have, pretty long it's big show. on Tumblr, <laughs> so I feel like that it's the is same true. Audience. But I don't know. It's it's more popular with like girls. <laughs> so, <laughs> of our audiences. Well, so, yeah. I mean, well, for the, you guys that for you guys that have. Um, there's the character of God in Supernatural is an actual thing, or he's also known as Chuck. And <laughs> what? Uh, basically, what happens with him, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I watched it. It's been like like a year around. But basically, the story of it is that God was there in the beginning, and then he created all that stuff. But then he kind of left with some vague instructions, and it's been so long that everybody doesn't know where he is or what he's doing. Or like even if he still exists, but they're still trying to follow what he, his orders are, even though they might be screwing up <laughs> along the way. Um, so something along that vein, and um, which I think would be really interesting, and also the reason why they still kept White Diamond on their logos, because it's like she's pretty much their god <laughs> in right. a way. Mm-hmm. So they're these all her her subjects are trying to continue what she wanted, but you know after so much time has passed, they might have you know totally done something different like you know homeworld is totally different than what it used to be uh so that could be that um also i mean because the resource shortage but also over mm. time we know that lapis said it's been it's changed so much but even, it could even be older than that that she left like she might have only been there in the very beginning um so yeah it'd be right. very different from when she was around if this was the case yeah so they might just be misinterpreting everything <laughs> Um, that she like wanted them to do, so she'd be more like a figurehead, essentially, um, mm-hmm. and almost like a deity. And a shout out to Sites of Otaku; he actually did a vi- video kind of t- tackling a similar type of idea of White Diamond being more so a god figure for the diamonds, um, more more than like a straight up leader, a political figure. Um, so yeah, I think that's definitely interesting, and it's oh. very curious that she uh, is not present in the trial. Did you just think of something? No, I was just like, oh, I didn't know he made a video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So he goes, like, more in-depth with it and kind of goes into, like, actual real-world uh, religious symbolism and how White Diamond kind of connects to that. So go check that video out. We'll leave a link in the end of the video uh, for that theory. It's really good, really well done. And another possibility is that she might be dealing with something bigger. So a lot of people have been speculating that there actually could be other type of alien species or something some other greater threat that the crystal gems are not aware of that the diamonds and the homeworld gems are aware of that they're currently fighting because they colonize a lot of planets so i'm sure they've come across a lot of planets come across a lot of different life forms so it is possible the white diamond was dealing with some more major thing that is going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of could be sneeple maybe um <laughs> But yeah, maybe there, maybe that's why she wasn't at the trial. So she just had yellow and blue diamond both take care of it. Since it is kind of a big deal, but she wasn't able to make it because she was on some other planet or something. But I think it's very interesting that we got that hint um, that, you know, white diamond with her big temple type thing. Um, it was very interesting. They really emphasized that because it was even in the title card and everything. So that's that was pretty telling. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we don't know where she is. She could be any number of places. But how do you how do you think? Uh, they're going to reintroduce or, or introduce us to White Diamond because we haven't heard any mention of her. We've only seen imagery in the temples, uh, in the moon base, and now this big statue and obviously the symbol itself. So we know she's got to be a thing to some degree, um, unless she's like some type of fusion <laughs> or something, which I highly doubt. But um, how do you think they're going to bring White Diamond into the story in a way that's organic? Because most people, myself included, thought it was going to be during Wanted and that would have made the most sense from what we know. So what big thing could possibly happen that you think would even require White Diamond and how could they build up to that point now that we've seen two diamonds already? Well, usually what they've done in the past is that they usually name drop them first, like mm-hmm. a couple times usually. Or they seem like with Yellow Diamond, I know for a fact. I'm not yeah. sure about Blue Diamond. But, you know, I mean, we have seen the mural of White Diamond and we have now seen that um, 
kind of that temple like thing on homeworld so that's two things mm -hmm. then if we get an actual name drop you know we could start hearing rumors about her maybe until it just like it gets bigger and bigger and then it's like okay where is she what's going on and finally she shows up when you know at a very unfortunate time perhaps mm -hmm. uh if, if it's with Steven, obviously, because that's how we see pretty much everything <laughs> in the show. So I, I'm thinking, you know, it's, it's going to be a big moment, not just like with like Blue Diamond. We first saw her, I believe, at, in the, in Korea, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so that was kind of like, I guess that made sense. I mean, it was kind of unexpected almost because she was on Earth. Right. Which that was weird. a huge, that was like almost like a huge reveal. Like, <gasps> whoa. Like, yeah. Yeah. Which... I don't. I. I wouldn't think they would go that direction with White Diamond. I think maybe you'd be on her territory, which is Homeworld. She just like next time Stephen perhaps goes to Homeworld uh, again if that happens, or the, you know. I mean, I'm expecting to see more Homeworld because we saw pretty much nothing of it except yeah. like the old kindergarten. That's pretty much it for that yeah. whole time, which is really unfortunate. So <laughs> I really hope we see more Homeworld. And then when, once we do, um, maybe, you know, we could learn some more lore about the place and then eventually get into the history, perhaps. And then then finally see, you know, White Diamond herself, the, you know, the one that we we're predicting could be like a godlike figure. <laughs> That'd be wild. And we do still need to get Lara, so we'll be coming back, I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'd be that'd be really crazy if <laughs> Steven goes to check on Lars. So he like goes through Lion and then he comes out through Lars and he just sees White Diamond staring at him because they got caught or something. And he's just like, oh, my God. And he just goes yeah, right he, back. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be insane. I don't think it'll be like that, though. I don't think it would yeah. be that quick. But if you know, it, maybe something similar to that could happen where the off colors do end up getting caught or something, which I doubt because they know the tunnels and they know the area. They know what they're doing. But mm -hmm. um, they're more so on the run than they were before. So if they like happen to get caught and we weren't expecting it, then we maybe Steven could pop out through Lars and they're in some type of holding area or something and we see White Diamond or I, I don't know something like that that'd be pretty interesting because Lars does look like a gem now so people are going to be very confused about <laughs> Lars because he doesn't look like a human and uh, granted gems don't really know much about humans so maybe they wouldn't know the difference but Lars could potentially pretend to be a gem to some uh, degree I, I feel like they have a real good sense of if they have a gem or not even not just looking at the gem itself, like they can almost sense it. I don't know. I don't or know. just like looking at the physical body, they can like totally tell. I feel like because with Steven, like with Rose's coloring, she just looks pretty almost like a human, pretty much. But then yeah. Yellow Diamond could immediately tell that like something's wrong with this Steven. Like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, what is this thing? <laughs> yeah, he dresses differently than That's they true. do. But other than that, I mean, he's pink. So he just looks like a rose or some some type of pink gem, other than the fact that he's got a male form. But they could theoretically shape shift into a male form. So I don't yeah. know. That's kind of that's kind of weird. So it's possible he gets mistaken for a gem, another off color, and maybe he gets he's like a special type of case because he doesn't actually have a gem. So they're kind of trying to figure out what he is. Maybe they think he's some type of alien species or something like that. But Yellow Diamond and Blue Diamond are aware that Lars is a human, but if he turns pink, they might be confused. I don't know. There's, we're really rambling now, uh, getting into a completely different subject altogether. But yeah, obviously the, the White Diamond reveal, more, more likely than not, will be a huge thing. I don't know if we'll get a direct mention beforehand. We have with, like you said, the other two diamonds, Blue Diamond in the answer and Yellow Diamond a couple times in passing. So I'm not, I'm not sure. They just seem to really be building up to this. So maybe we won't even see her till like the end, which would be pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, she's probably away somewhere dealing with other stuff or maybe she's a godlike figure and not actually a political figure. That's kind of what we're taking away, but we don't really know for sure. It's really hard to say at this point because we know pretty much nothing about her. So do you have any final thoughts, Haley? No, I'm just, I, I really wanted to see her and wanted <laughs> and nothing happened. But, you know, I'm looking forward to it because all the imagery that we've seen of her, we're going to see. I, I mean, if we don't see her, I'm going to be really, really sad. Yeah. No, we'll see her. Yeah. <laughs> That'd good. Be Thank you. Amazing. If we didn't, uh, I'd almost be so impressed. I'd be so impressed. I couldn't be mad if we never saw White <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> just, yeah. They're just trolling us the whole time. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. What do you guys think is happening with White Diamond? Where is she? What's her deal? Why was she not at the trial? What do you think is going on? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Steven Universe theories and discussions and hit that little notification bell right next to the subscribe button as you hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when we do these Steven Universe discussions. It really helps us out. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe. I'm joined by Haley. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.